Hey guys, Jason here. In today's video, we're going to go over how to do a last pass or final pass. I have the software open and I'm just going to make a box. And we're going to start by showing the profile pass. Let's define our material real quick. Set this at a one inch piece of material. Pick a quarter inch down cut in mill. To make this easy, I'm going to set the step down to a quarter inch or 0.25. And we're just going to do a profile pass around the outside. And we're going to cut it all the way out so I'm going to use a one inch depth and to add a final pass we're going to set a final pass allowance and I'm going to use a negative 0.03 for my final pass allowance. If we press calculate and we run the simulation, I'm gonna get down here to the bottom of the cut. And you can see guys on this final pass that the bit cut all the way down through the material on, on the final pass, it's going to step in that 0 0.03 and give us a last pass and that's gonna cut our piece out. Now I do want you to note that right now it says this material is at 0.75. So that means that the last pass is also gonna cut out that final quarter inch as it goes around so if we wanted to change that and make that much thinner for our last pass on the bottom we would add a final pass thickness and if I just click the final pass thickness and I'm gonna simulate that back down to the bottom and you can see now that our last pass from our profile pass is stepping in that 0 0.03 our bottom depth is now 0.9 so we're only gonna be cutting out that 0.1 for our final pass. And then as that goes around, it'll cut our piece out and give us a final pass on the inside of the profile. Now let's look at that in an area clearance. We're going to delete this toolpath. We're going to go to our area clearance and I'm going to add a tool. We're going to use a quarter inch down cut end mill. Now just like the profile pass, we can set a final tool allowance and we're going to just set a 0.1 final tool allowance. And if I press calculate, we did not set a depth. So let's let's go back and set a depth. Let's use a half inch. And if we do our simulation, and then you can see guys, it's gonna cut a profile pass on the last pass and cut out our 0.1 final tool allowance. And this is how you can add a final pass to your area clearance. That was around the border or the edge. And that's what the final tool allowance is for. Now we can add another tool and let's add a 1 8 up cut and if we do this with two tools that final tool allowance will be assigned to the second tool so the first tool is going to cut everything down but the 0.1 and then the 1 8 end mill would come around and cut that final 0.1 material if we want to make a final pass on the bottom or on the surface I'm going to show you how to do that if we delete the simulation and let's go back to our square now if we wanted to make a last pass on the bottom let's get rid of our final tool allowance. The easiest way to do this is to change your finish depth and just create a second tool path. So for this example, I'm going to change our finish depth to 0.4 and we're using a quarter inch down cut. I removed the 1 8 in mill. And if we calculate and simulate that one, we're down to 0.4. Create another tool path with a start depth of 0.4 and a finish depth of 0.5. We can add in the same quarter inch down cut in mill. And then when we simulate that that's going to bring our final pass down to 0.5 now when you save these tool paths if you save them as a single file the file will run together so these two tool paths will run back to back and that will create a second pass or a final pass at the bottom of your area clearance tool path guys if you thought this content was valuable please subscribe hit the like button and share this with someone if you have any questions about this please leave them in the comments below thanks and we'll see you on the next one